So today I'm going to show you how to install a Braille font. I'm over on dafont.com. It's D-A-F-O-N-T. It's the same process to install a font whether you're on Windows or Mac. On the top right, we have a search box. I typed in Braille, hitting enter, and it gives us our results. So on the left is the file name and the author. And then to the right, it tells you how you're allowed to use the font. This one's free for personal use. The one below it is public domain. Some of them are a little more stylized, probably not too practical, but you know, they're fun looking. For this font, this is called a Simbrel font because it has placeholder dots. And then the one below it is called a Braille font because there are no placeholder dots. So it's helpful if you're learning to read Braille to use a Simbrel font. But as soon as you can, graduate up to the Braille font because that's what actual embossed dots look like. So when you start reading a hard copy book, it won't be so hard. And then lastly, I want you to also keep an eye out on the comments. Um, Braille type by Chiara. I read the comments and they did not use the correct symbol for the capital symbol indicator. Instead of a dot six, they used a four six. So don't assume the Braille is correct. You know, download it and then read it through and make sure everything is right. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is this font down here, Braille Slow 8 dot, has eight dots to a Braille cell, and that's used for math and science. So we're going back up to the top. We're going to download Braille Font by Mauricio. Click on Download. Download it as a zip folder. I'm going to click on that to open it. I click on the button that says Extract All asking where I want that to extract to. I'm going to put it on the desktop just so it's easier for you to follow along. Clicking extract. Okay, um, it's now on the desktop, so let me show you that. It's in the top left-hand corner, it's been extracted. When you double-click on it, it shows a preview of the font. So it says the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And at the top you have two buttons, there's print and install. Click on install. Boom, it's done. So just to prove it to you, I really did install it. Going over to Word, opening a blank document. Type the word wow. And then I'm going to change the font to Braille type because that was the name of the Braille font we just installed. And there you go, it's really there. I know a lot of computers these days don't have Microsoft Word. So I'm showing you another option. It's called Open Office. It's a uh, free software that works just like Word. Type the word wow. I'm gonna change the font to Braille type. There you go. And then the third way you can do this, we can go to the desktop, right click, go to new. Oops, oh, that works. Um, I clicked on the wrong thing. New, new text document. Open that up. Type wow. At the top, we have file edit format. Change the font. There we go. Let me type in Braille. I have quite a few Braille fonts on here. Um, I don't know actually which one it is. Off dots. Braille type. There we go. So here's the font name at the top Braille type. Hit OK. And then from there, I could go to File, Print, Microsoft Print PDF, and then hit Print, which is really save. And then I could email myself that PDF and I could read the Braille um, from my tablet. So, what if you don't want to download Braille from Defont? TSBVI.edu, that's Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired, I've talked about their website before because they have a free Braille library. So under popular pages on the right hand side, it says library, which I highly recommend you go check out. And below that, it says download Braille and ASL specialty fonts. Click on that. There's a list of fonts and they talk about if it has the placeholder dots or if it has no shadow dots. The only one I recommend not downloading is the first one. It's for Braille swell paper. That's a specialty font for paper that it has micro capsules in it. And when you run it through a swell machine, the dots become raised. So I'm going to download the RNIB No Shadow Dots. It's called Braille True Type. It zipped it. 
going to click on the file. We're going to unzip it to the desktop. Say OK. Click on unzip. It says it has unzipped successfully. And is this one right here, RNIB Braille. So this is your review. We double click on the font. We click install. It is installed. And then to prove it to you, going over to Word, and it was RNIB Braille. There you go. And that's how you install the font. But let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.